in Erlang terms, you hear a lot about message passing. You send a message from process one to process two, or maybe from one process to a bunch of other processes over here. And you might think, well, isn't that kind of wasteful of memory? So you, you have, there's some details you have to realize. If you send a small message, let's say you send a message to the number seven, right? it's probably not a message you actually want to send, but hypothetically, then it would just copy it over. If the message is larger, and larger in this case is defined as more than 64 bytes, then it will not copy the message. It'll simply copy a pointer. So maybe your message is 500 megabytes or even a gigabyte of audio and video data like this video, which is YouTube, I don't think uses Erlang, but that's besides the point. And you're camping it from one process to a bunch of other processes that are going to send it out, stream it out to users or something. Then it's just going to create a reference counted pointer to the video block, the block of data. Once that all the references to it have been delete, have gone away, all those processes have exited or have stopped referring to it, it will itself be garbage collected. So you can pass one piece of one data structure to as many processes as you want, and it will just move pointers around. It will not use huge amounts of memory. It will use it probably use a little bit. So if you're worried about passing huge pieces of data back and forth between Erlang and Orlixir processes, don't be. It doesn't, it's a very cheap operation because of that. Uh, so that is how Erlang passes big and small pieces of data around within a certain a node. If you found this useful, please uh, comment, like, and subscribe below. And you can follow me on Twitter at Zeke Hessen. And I also have a form you can go over to to suggest topic ideas. If you're having trouble with something in the Erlang Elixir space, let me know.